Hello, my darlings. Welcome to Big Star with Guidance. Welcome all of you that are new and all of you returning today to this reading. So in today's reading, we're going to be looking into how do they feel about you just getting into anything that wants to show up, any messages that want to help clarify this connection for you guys as well. We're getting message cards for your person and also just general cards of guidance to see what wants to show up also if any clarity wants to show up around this connection for you guys we're going to be getting that as well all right so we have three different groups to pick from for today group number one here is represented by the high priestess card group number two is represented by the ace of swords card and group number three is represented by the Knight of Cups card. The timestamps are down below in the description box and in the pinned comment below this video. If you want to book a personal tarot reading with me, check out the Etsy shop, which is also linked down below. And if you want to check out my other socials or anything else, it's all linked down below as well. So thank you for tuning in. I'll see you all in your chosen groups. And do take some time right now by pausing the video if you feel like you need a bit more time. Hello, group number one. Welcome to your reading. So you have picked the High Priestess card today in regards to the reading on how are they feeling. So how's your person feeling right now? Let's get into some more messages and some more tarot cards to start off with. So overall, I feel like your person definitely feels this connection is quite dreamy or they see it as a very dreamy relationship right now something that's not very stable or something that's not very pinned down in the physical world right so it feels like this relationship is happening on a more etheric maybe maybe in a more daydreamy dimension for your person they also could have had really like powerful dreams about you in the past days so let's see what else wants to show up here, Spirit. Um, so we have the Emperor. Okay, that's very nice. Very good. Let's take two more. Let's see what else. So we have the Six of Cups here as well. Anything else? The, well, the Seven of Cups wanting to come through here also, right? So yeah, this person definitely wants what I'm hearing is an energetic exchange to happen in the physical world as well we have the six of pentacles here on the bottom of the deck i'm just going to put it over here i'm hearing i want to start a fire so i feel like they're quite passionate i'm also hearing that your person is currently a little bit impatient like they want things to move they want things to start going places right they definitely know that they're currently really daydreaming about you guys um or about this relationship or that their thoughts about you are not grounded in reality is what i'm hearing they definitely feel like their emotions are not grounded in reality you know so they are kind of fantasizing daydreaming feeling into all these potentials or feeling into this future possibility or future possibilities for you guys here. Um, but they kind of know that right now it's not really set in stone. It feels like there, there is nothing set in stone in this when it comes to this connection right now. But with the Emperor, it definitely feels like your person wants to make things more solid you know like they want things to be like more structured more orderly they also feel like they want to know what they're on about with you right so they're kind of like I, i'm getting this energy of being enmeshed in this very daydreamy um psychic connection maybe even a telepathic connection for some of you but it's not similar or it's not being expressed in the same way in the physical world so it's like this telepathic connection that you guys have with each other 
is there and it's happening but then when it comes to the physical world it's almost like things are not in balance in the same way that they are in the in the more psychic realms or in the daydream realms or in the um, dream realms even you know not in the astral realms um it's it's not the same as in the astral realms is what i wanted to say so yeah i feel like your person is just struggling to, to kind of connect to the two right now they feel like they are maybe fooling themselves into thinking that you like them back that's also why the emperor is here because they really feel like they want clarity this person wants to kind of reconnect with you with the six of cups with the six of pentacles with the six of cups and the six of pentacles it's this energy of wanting the connection that they feel is present this this almost like home like feeling that they have with you when they think about you or when even they connect to you on a more emotional level they want that to be channeled into the physical circumstances of your relationship as well with the six of pentacles it's like wanting to bring the higher energies hello i'm over here so wanting to bring it down and kind of channel it through the physical world that's what they're wanting is what i'm getting here they want a better energetic exchange between the two of you and the physical world so this person is wanting for something more and they're wanting for um like i feel like a a certain confirmation that they are not mad for feeling this strong a connection with you right so they kind of feel like i need to have proof that i am not just imagining this that this is not just all in my head that i'm just you know kind of conjuring up all these fantasies all these desires without it having any possible way to also manifest in the physical world right so they're kind of thinking i feel like they're they're thinking like almost like they're mad occasionally they are sometimes i feel like doubtful feeling doubts about um their ability to perceive this connection clearly just because there is so they they're able to tune into such a high level um of this relationship here as well so so there are like a lot of different layers to this connection happening on many different like dimensions the astral the the higher self energies then there is the dream energy you know the, the dimension that is the dream world that we enter into when we dream and then there's like the physical realm as well and your person can like tune into all these different kinds of frequencies all these different kinds of dimensions when it comes to your connection and i feel like that's why they're they're kind of like confused like what what do we have here you know <clears throat> that type of feeling is what's present here like what do we have here what's what's really going on in the physical world like what's really going on in the nitty-gritty um physical situation is this like something that's just in my head is this something that's actually happening do they feel the same as what they're wondering here as well like do you group number one feel the same do you even feel like connected to them um are they just imagining this you know it's like yeah they they are able to pick up on subtle energies but it's like a feeling of can i trust that about myself is the energy here and they want like to have a firm trust on that as well with the emperor here they want a stand stance like a place of security um yeah they want to reason um they want to have a reasonable connection with you and they want to know where they are standing with you and what i'm hearing is like i'm losing my mind with you i don't know what to do with you Oh, you're driving me insane is also what's showing up here so yeah they're, they're i feel like really struggling because they don't know how to pin you down or or where to position you in their physical world because on on other levels they kind of know where to position you but when it comes to the physical world they feel like this person is kind of struggling and that's why they want you know this energetic exchange to also be more present and more frequent in the physical world as well <clears throat> so overall they feel quite generous um warm-hearted towards you um they definitely want to hang out more they want to detach from any stressful situation that might be 
present in their field right now as well. They're also feeling grateful for you overall, like they're grateful for who you are and what you represent and, you know, your role in their life. They, they're they super grateful for the role that you have played and are currently playing in their life as well. So yeah, this person's still dreaming and daydreaming about you quite a lot with the Seven of Cups. Um, they're able to um, envision or trying to envision with clarity things that will improve both of your lives. And they're trying to recognize um, the many choices that are available for the two of you to how to kind of manifest this connection in the physical world. So that's like the main focus for your person right now, how to manifest or how to bring about this connection in the physical world and have it be stable and firm and grounded and something that is reasonable given your situation and your choices so far in the physical world, right? They also want to like be there to potentially help you, to offer support, to offer security in any way that they can or could. They do want kind of you to ask them for support is what I'm getting here with the Six of Pentacles as well. Um, but yeah, this person wants to be generous towards you. They want to be open. They want to be helpful. Um, I'm hearing knight in shining armor. So they really like want to step up and be there for you is what I'm getting here. So the emperor, we have Aries energy, which is overall, you know, already a very generous person, very generous energy. With Aries, there is a particular intensity to this group as well, like a particular <clears throat> like almost like a bossy intensity, I need to figure this out type of energy. Um, I feel like your person here with the high priestess, they have a couple of, let's say, <clears throat> unsaid or private, <clears throat> private thoughts that they haven't revealed to you fully. Um, they don't know how to speak on certain things that have happened between the two of you or certain things that they felt in this connection. They don't know how to speak truth to that. You know, they don't want to come through as someone who is um, delusional, right? So so they also don't know how to start, <clears throat> pardon my throat, start talking about um, things that are yeah, that, that they have felt into. Like, they don't know how to start communicating that. So interesting that my throat started acting up again as I was starting to talk about the high priestess here. Like, they want to, they wanna like, move beyond the veil here. They want to be more authentic. They don't want to wear a mask in this connection. But I feel like your person struggles with the how, like, how to do that, right? Uh, how to do that, what to do, like, like, how do they talk about the things that they feel about this connection to you? You know, how do they talk about the things that they've experienced in the astral realms with you, to you? You know, they're kind of struggling with that. Like, how do they manifest this or how do they bring this into, like, the physical world? <clears throat> yeah. Part of it is also because your person doesn't know where you are fully, like where are you on this journey? Like, are you just going to think them insane or is it actually going to make sense to you as well? So yeah, they're kind of not sure like what, what to do with all of this, like where to position this. Yeah, what, what to do with this connection right now. So let's see what else. How do they feel? What do they feel? I'm open and ready. So they feel like they want to proceed with you. They want to move forward. They want things to move. They want things to develop. They're open to communicating with you as well. Um, they're open to hanging out. Like they want, they want to know more about you. They want to just have more more of a connection in the physical world. We said that with the Six of Pentacles because that is going to help clear any insecurities or any doubts that they might be feeling towards you here. I trust in you. So they trust in you. They trust in this connection. They trust that things are going to be okay or that everything is going to work out for the best. Um, 
They still like, feel like miss you a great deal or want to reconnect you with the Six of Cups. There is this feeling of your person really like mm, understanding that you're kindred souls. There, there's this strong bond that they feel with you and they're kind of wondering, do you feel the same? They also like are trying to trust in that connection, trust in the fact that you also feel this or you also feel a similar variation of their own experience in this connection. You know, they're, they're trying to kind of, what I'm getting is like, they're, they're trying to like fool themselves even into thinking that you feel similar to them. And, and they're kind of doubting, like, am I fooling myself or am I really feeling something here? You know, is this really the case or do I just want this to be the case? What do you want? So yeah, your person's like really wondering, like, what the heck do you even want? What do you want? Like, where do you want to go? Like, like, do you feel the same? You know, they're, they're really wanting to just have like a and a session with you, right? Um, like ask you questions, ask you how you're feeling this connection, but they don't want to be too intrusive either. So I feel like your person is just kind of stuck in that, in that place between a rock and a hard place, you know, just not knowing where exactly they can move and how are things going to be perceived from your end if they do move into some type of questioning, you know, is it going to be too conf confrontational or just downright weird, you know, they're like, oh my gosh, what do I even do and how do I even approach them? Mm -mm. Yeah, they're focused a lot on truth and honesty when it comes to this connection right now. So it's all about truth and honesty right now here for your person. They want to reveal their truth to you with all these cards like showing up. This person wants to be truthful about how they have been perceiving this connection here on my mind today is here on the bottom of the deck. How lovely. So yeah, they want to be truthful, more honest, more forward in how they've been perceiving this connection. But they're again, like they're not sure how are you going to be perceiving this? How are you going to view this? Are they going to be seen as silly and weird? Just, you know, like a mad person even, you know, so they're really wondering and kind of they're concerned about that. So let's get into some of these little messages. So let's see what wants to show up for you guys. I'm just going to get a couple out here. Let's put an intention in first for group number one, please. Any messages that want to show up from their person or are clarifying this connection right now? So <clears throat> let's see. Right. So what do we have here? So we have causal. So this connection is related, related to causality, right? So cause and effect. So it's it's something to be mindful of. Um, there could be some karmic cycles that you guys are trying to trying to just work through within yourselves, within your generations, helping each other through this, or this connection just helping you through that right now um or even like fixing certain karmic cycles from past lives with each other so what are you doing here is <laughs> showing up as well this one's from um i feel like just from bojack horseman energy you know like what are you doing here like who are you in my life you know they're kind of wondering like what are you doing here who are you why do you trigger me like like what's going on here you know what are you doing here what type of person are you i feel such a strong connection to you like who are you what are you doing here you know it's almost like almost even if they know that you guys have a past life connection it's almost like what the heck is this person from my past life doing in my life again you know and it's it's karmic if they are, you know, showing up, they do have some lessons to teach you some things to just, let's say, fix here. Um, so you guys have something to just work through is what's showing up. Um, it's nothing to be afraid of. It's just about fixing the, let's say, relationship, fixing the energy so that it flows again in a smooth way um karma is just about like choosing a different route than you have previously with your person right we have spiritual here as well as a keyword so this connection is incredibly incredibly spiritual for you guys definitely very spiritual there's a lot here happening 
on the dimension of the astral, also through your connection with your higher selves. There's a lot of communication happening there. You both feel like home to each other. So there's like a spiritual link between the two of you here as well. You could be very similar to each other as well and could be triggering each other because of that here also. Okay, so we have Philautia, so Philautia or self-love here. So there's definitely self-love here or there is um, calling towards the love of the self, the love of like the ego, but not not in an in a way of making the ego powerful and bossy but just loving the expression of the physical world is what's showing up here and we have agape or selfless love showing up here as well so that almost like loving friendship unconditional love we are companions in this lifetime helping each other through this helping on ourselves realize the self-love energy, the love of the self, the love of the ego. Um, I miss you too is showing up as your message here also. So let's just get a couple more. Um, let me just put this over here. Let's get these as messages. So I miss you too is showing up here. We have, I wish I knew what to do. This really deeply resonates with your person, yeah. Um, I want to understand. So that's another one that deeply resonates with their energy here. So we also have take it easy love. So this is, I feel like just a message for you, but also it's a message that this person is saying to themselves, like, I need to take a chill. I need to take it easy. I cannot rush into this. I need to be grounded. So they feel like they need to be grounded as they approach you, as they move towards you. My love will never die is showing up here as well. I love how this is showing up here with the self-love and with selfless love. Like there is a deeper love that you have for each other than just this love in this physical dimension. And what do we have here? All that glitters is not gold, right? So I feel like your person here is still mindful that there might be things that they're not seeing when it comes to this connection. They're trying to be very mindful about that they're trying not to get ahead of themselves. That's why the emperor here is here as well, like as this solid like holder of space. So I feel like your person just kind of observing right now, seeing what the options are for them. They are still longing for you, especially with the six of cups, with the seven of cups, there is this deep longing that they have for you. Um, but they're also trying to kind of pace themselves and see what is happening next in the physical world really that's that's what they're doing right now they're kind of waiting to see what happens in the physical world and what that gets to teach them how they end up understanding things in the next months even you know um as things happen between the two of you as you communicate as you interact they're 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 seeing where they are headed, where they are led to with this, I want to understand. So they're kind of led to this Ace of Swords energy, trying to kind of feel into what is going to happen next um, and have clarity. Overall, they're waiting for like the, the lightning of inspiration to kind of hit them as well. I really like how we have the Ace of Swords as our next card. So it might be related to you guys. There might be more messages in group number two for you guys as well. I don't know yet because I haven't tuned into that um, group yet. But, you know, it, it does feel like your person is like, I, I want to say hoping, but it's not like they are just expecting the Ace of Swords energy with this I want to understand. I wish I knew what to do. They're kind of waiting for that inspiration lightning bolt to just kind of hit them on the head and for them to like fully understand and know what they have to do or what they should be doing in this connection. So if you guys feel called, join me on group number two as well if you feel drawn. If not, don't stress it. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. If any of you want to book a personal tarot reading with me, check out the Etsy link down below. For 18 plus tarot readings, check out Patreon and check out the Primordial Practitioners for 18 plus tarot readings. For those of you who maybe want to work with me more personally on anything that is happening in your life and would want to have like personal assistance, personal guidance or personal tarot readings throughout the month, you can join the Badass Shaman on Patreon for that and we will connect through WhatsApp then. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for being on this journey with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. I always enjoy hearing from all of you. I'll see you all soon in the next one and hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Blessings to all of you. Bye. <sighs> Namaste. Hello, group number two, welcome. You have picked, let me get it up. You have picked the Ace of Swords today as your card. So let's get into this. Let's get a couple more cards for you guys as well. So let's see how is your person feeling? How do they feel right now? We have the Two of Wands showing up here for you. Let's see what else. We have the Four of Swords here showing up as well. Let's get one more. Okay, we have the Five of Wands here. Amazing. Okay, so what I'm getting is curiosity. Okay, one, no, not, not anymore. What do we have on the bottom? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, dog. so this is the bottom deck energy. I'm just going to leave it over here. Hmm, all right. So I feel like your person is feeling like they want to move things forward. Okay, there's a very specific energy here. They want to move things forward. Yet they also feel like they need to take some rest. They they could have been sick. They could have had the flu. They, they just could have been like a little bit under the weather lately with the Four of Swords. Um, this feels like they, they might have been burnt out even um, given all the events happening in their lives or just in this connection, they felt like they needed to take a little bit of a hiatus to tune into themselves more, just to rest, to recuperate. I feel like this person has, however, like been met with some type of like, I want to say illness, but it's not really an illness. It feels like it's just maybe headaches or maybe it's the flu or maybe it's some type of like physiological difficulty, right? Something in the body that is just not making them feel good right now, um, whatever that is. It could also be digestive issues, like whatever it is that is requiring them to have some rest here is what's showing up. And they feel like they are annoyed, pardon me, they're annoyed about that. Um, with the Five of Wands, it, it feels like they, they have like a lot of wishes that they want to like fulfill or a lot of things that they want to move towards, a lot of things that they want to run after, a lot of things that they want to chase, right? It feels like with the Four of Swords, they have been kind of met with, um, like, yeah, just just this rest um, and a need to step away for a bit, a need to replenish themselves, a need to not continue building, but a need to like tap into themselves a bit more. And it, it feels like they are a bit or have been a bit annoyed by that or just, you know, not fully satisfied by that. But right now, what it feels like they're also trying to come to terms with their journey in this relationship. This person wants to build something with you, with the two of wands. They definitely want to build something. They want to create something lasting for this connection. They feel like they have a sense of clarity or they have renewed clarity about what it means to be with you. They feel like they, they might have like recently gotten some type of inspiration 
about this connection or just gotten like more clarity about who you are to them, what you mean to them, what you represent to them, you know, it, it feels like a shower thought is what I'm hearing. It's like your person had a shower thought about you and they fully like understood the dynamic of this connection through that. It's like something clicked in their own head here, right? So what they're feeling right now, they're feeling deeper clarity. Their energy still feels like it's a little bit imbalanced, like it's still a little bit shaky with the five of wands. This person might even feel like they have competition. There's this feeling of needing to like engage with other people, um, like, you know, kind of prove themselves to you and kind of push away other potential people who are in their area with all these cats it's making me really tap into the energy of you know this is my place this is where I live and I'm going to protect it so there's almost like a ownership of of what is theirs and they feel like you kind of what I'm hearing is belong to them there could be some possessive energy here for some of you as well but overall I feel like your person is getting more and more into this energy of um, being more decisive, like being more decisive about how they are approaching you, how they are approaching their own lives. They're taking better care of their own. What I'm getting is health as well, not just like physical health, but mental health with the four of swords here. So through this this thing that happened to them, this, let's say, burnout or whatever it was that kind of resulted in your person having to take a bit of a time out in this connection. It could have been that they were just a little bit overwhelmed as well. So that has led them towards quiet contemplation that, let's say, hi hiatus energy has led them to be more in tune with their body and more aware of their own boundaries, where they have potentially been giving too much and where have they not been receiving enough or allowing themselves to receive enough. So they're more in tune with themselves as a result of that. They have a clearer vision and a better like confidence, a better like position, um, a better ground beneath their feet to make a move. This this energy to me right now feels like certain deja vu, like I talked to this about you guys. Like I talked about this before, like, you know, when a cat jumps, it needs like a stable position under its paws so as to like kind of just um, have have a good jumping ground. Um, so it, it feels like your person needed that and the Four of Swords provided that for them, giving them the Ace of Swords, like the stable ground from which they can now move have clear vision and confidence to make a bold decision, to make that leap, to make that jump from. So they definitely have like a certain spark and they know what type of action they want to take. They definitely feel like they want to make wise decisions when it comes to the two of you as well. They don't want to be rushing into anything, especially with the Knight of Pentacles as our bottom deck energy. This one's like kind of watching, like throughout my reading here, it's kind of watching here and being like, Everything is stable. Everything is solid. Everything is practical. You know, we're we're moving things slow and steady is what this one is saying. It even has that type of quality to it, doesn't it? It's like watching like a little manager being like, hey, slow and steady, you know, nothing else right now. All right. So with the five of wands, as I said, your person might feel a sense of competition from other people. They might feel like you are um, having like other people interested in you as well. Um, they're trying to like rise up to the challenge of this connection as well. I feel like this four of swords, whatever it was, I keep returning to it, whatever it was, it really created a shift in your person. Even if they were annoyed that they kind of needed to take a break or needed to step back a bit or go no contact or be like in a bit of a separation for a couple of days or weeks or months, depending on your relationship, it just feels like it was necessary for them to come to a sense of clarity, which is now what is helping them move forward. Um, they're trying not to become distracted by outside circumstances or outside competition here with the Five of Wands as well, especially with the Knight of Pentacles here also, kind of just striving to have strong boundaries, 
know what they are on about and know where they themselves are headed, right? So they're trying not to tune into what other people might be doing or wanting. They're kind of just peddling their own canoe is what's showing up here. So yeah, your person is showing up in patient energy with the Knight of Pentacles here. Patient, loving, uh, joyful energy, but kind of stable joy as well. It's not like fiery joy. It's stable, slow-burning, gentle joy here with the Knight of Pentacles. They're allowing like their idea, the plans that they have within, within their own head towards you to kind of bloom, to start, to develop, right? They overall feel quite um, determined. Um, they're trying to ensure that whatever they want to build here, whatever they want to go towards with you here, whatever they want to attend to in this connection um, is, is getting like completed, is getting um, done, right? So they're, they're kind of trying to keep a steady pace moving forward, um, allowing events to also unfold at their natural pace. They're trying not to force anything here in this connection, force anything to happen right now. I'm, I'm also hearing eyes on the prize with the Ace of Swords. Have my eyes on the prize. I have my eyes on the prize. Um, they're saying that they want to hang out with you is what I'm hearing here as well. Um... And they feel like they need to make a move, like especially if this person's been a bit like off beat or, or, you know, just not present in your life. They feel a pressure to make a move or to reach out or in any way to connect to you right now or to do something to step out of the comfort zone. So even though they are kind of annoyed about this, you know, annoyed of having to take the hiatus, like after being in the hiatus for a little bit. It it kind of becomes it kind of became their comfort zone here. So I feel like they need to kind of break out of that comfort zone again and actually make a move towards you, like reach out to you, say hi, like write that email, write that message, like just reconnect is what I'm hearing here. Like reconnect. Like again, establish some type of steady conversation with you here as well. Like, yeah, like um Again, putting the seed in the ground to see what will grow from that is the energy. But they feel like they have a deeper clarity of this connection right now, or they just at least have a deeper clarity of what they are wanting here, which is um, really like feeling good for them because they know what they're on about and they know their own boundaries. So they know half more than they did before is what's showing up. So let's see what else. What are their messages to you? What wants to show up here, Spirit? For group number two, please. For group number two, what wants to show up here, please? As the message from their person. What do they want to say? They're saying, I don't know where to begin. Um, so you are so intelligent. It is hot. Your person really like you know, like, likes you a great deal. Um, they feel like you're definitely a wonderful person to talk to. They really love having conversations with you about all kinds of different topics. Um, they just enjoy your point of view. Like you could have Aquarius placement somewhere. This person just feels like you are very interesting in how you think, how you think about the world, how you understand certain things. They find you to be a very interesting um, person to talk to about the things that they're interested in, about their hobbies as well. And yeah, they're, they're finding it that, you know, that's very hot. You know, your mind is very hot to them. So how do you feel? They're really wondering, like, how do you feel about them right now? Especially with the hiatus here energy. I feel like this hiatus, this is something that's bothering your person because it's always like, I feel like it's it's drawing me back and back and back. And it's almost like it's a little bit annoying how it's like eh, this again, this again, you know. So how do you feel? They're, they're kind of like wondering, like, how do you feel about me right now? You know, given that we haven't communicated in such a long time, like, how are you seeing me? How are you thinking about me? It's got this high school energy to it, you know, like a teenage boy being like, okay, what do you think about me right now? You know, or a teenage girl even, you know, 
just just being like a little bit uncertain a little bit not sure like how do you think about me right now you know do you like me you know do, do you still like me you know do, do you want to hang out it's that type of energy of of kind of not being sure what's going on here right now you know like there's a little bit of awkwardness almost so let's see what else <laughs> Mm, what else group number two how do they feel so yeah they, they're trying to kind of figure out how you feel as well but trying not to ask you this directly so i want to take care of you is showing up this person wants to take care of you they want to support you they want to give you things that are going to be meaningful to you and it feels like they're also kind of trying to figure out what is meaningful to you, like what is going to be the gesture that you appreciate from them. So let's see what else. Woo. <clears throat> I have trust issues. So yeah, they could have trust issues. They could have trust issues, you know, trust in, with trusting themselves. Um, and also, like, they could have trust issues about this connection. Like, is this connection going somewhere? You know, they could just have doubtful thoughts overall here. And feeling doubt in regards to, like, is this possible to manifest? You know, is this going places, etc. We also have, I hope I get to see you soon on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, your person is really kind of wishing, like, to see you soon, to hang out with you more, to see where this is going. Um... They're hoping for a reconnection. They're hoping for like a reunion with you guys. So let's get some of these messages. Let's see what wants to show up. This could be clarity about your connection or just messages from your person as well. So let's see what wants to show up. Please, Spirit, what wants to show up first of all for group number two today? What does the person on their mind want to communicate with group number two, please? beautiful wow powerful intention okay this one wants to show up you are so mine this one was like me pick me i'm the one okay so let's get some messages so you are so mine all right so these are the messages that wanna be seen what goes around comes around so this to me feels like it's you know your person saying you know i'm, I'm going to come back it is not what this traditionally means but this to me definitely feels like they are saying like i'm coming around you know i i went around i went away a bit but i'm coming around back so yeah i'm coming back is what this is saying you are so mine we have source so there's a deep connection that this person feels towards you a deep like bond a deep home-like connection right with source it it almost feels like they feel you are a kindred soul like you're, you're someone they have a strong bond with that they cannot fully explain but it feels very meaningful to them right so let's see i'm decluttering our connection so almost like doing spring cleaning on this connection on their mind that's the clarity energy here. That's why, why the Four of Swords is here as well, because this person needed some spring cleaning, some decluttering in their own system as well, so as to be able to see things more clearly. <clears throat> so they're kind of throwing away things that no longer serve or things that they're no longer needing and just making space for new things with decluttering, you know, making space for new energy to come in. Uh, watch as I dive in. Oh my gosh, this one is wonderful. So they're trying to kind of dive into this connection or dive deeper into this connection. This energy is showing up as courage, as valor, as someone with vitality and someone who is ready to give it their all, someone who is ready to be bold, right? So this is like the energy of someone <clears throat> who's afraid to like bungee jump and ends up like doing bungee jumping, like being like, okay, I'm going to do it because I know I need to do it. I'm super frightened as I'm doing it, as I'm jumping off the bridge, you know, down, but watch as I dive in. It's it's like a metaphor, like for your connection right now. 
Like your person's afraid what's going to happen if they contact you, if they connect to you, but they feel like they need to, they need to dive in to the forest. <laughs> they need to dive in to this relationship to see what comes out of that, but also like, because they just feel called to it. It's also what's showing up here is it's not like they have a choice. They feel called to it. They themselves feel a push towards this, like from themselves, from their inner being. They feel a push towards this. What else? We have seeing you brings back a lot of memories, unconscious. Yeah, this could be past life energy as well. Also with what goes around, comes around, this, there could be past life energies here. We have causal, yeah, like there could be a causal relationship here as well. Like you guys could be trying to clear some karma with each other from past lives even, you know, especially what this brings back a lot of memories. Um, it could be memories from the physical world, from this current incarnation, but it feels like there is a deeper component to your connection as well. Like you guys have past lives together. Um, you've you've done certain things in past lives together that you're trying to kind of reawaken certain gifts that you're trying to reawaken in this lifetime as well. So you're, you're kind of companions on this journey, right? So yeah, seeing you brings back a lot of memories, brings back a lot of like subconscious, unconscious things that your person hasn't like fully understood yet. And also like the same goes for you. It brings back a lot of things for you as well. Um, yeah, <clears throat> with causal energy here, your person is also trying to change the cycle, right? So change the cycle of cause and effect by making a different choice than what they have done so far. So if they kind of ghosted or gaslit or whatever they did before, you know, they're trying to make a different choice now. Uh, we have lies. Yeah, definitely. Like if your person has lied before, or if they were deceiving or just manipulative in some way, or like get gaslit or just, you know, told white lies, whatever it was, they're trying to change that. What goes around comes around. It's, it's like they've been, they've seen their karma. It could be also that the four of swords here is your person's karma hitting them a bit, you know, knocking on their head, being like, hello, you know, look what, look, look what you did to this other person. Now you're going to see it in your own life now. So it, it just feels like your person has been prompted to change how they act towards you, okay? So, darlings, this is it for today, for today's reading. Thank you so much for tuning in, for sharing your energy with me. Love you all so very much. If you want to book a personal tarot reading with me, check out the Etsy shop. The link is down below. If you want to connect to Patreon for to, blah, 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 to get 18 plus tarot readings, um and just tarot readings in general that are more spicy erotic check out the patreon tier primordial practitioners for that and if you want to work on me work on me oh my gosh what am i saying words are weird today so if you want to work with me or just connect to me on a daily basis uh, or just work on certain things with me more closely throughout the month you can connect to the patreon tier the badass shaman for that you will receive my whatsapp number so we will just do voice messages or you can write to me uh, and i'll respond with um tarot readings and things like that or just guidance whatever needs to come through for you so if you're called to that check it out the link to the patreon is down below thank you so much for tuning in other socials and everything is also linked down below if any of you are curious thank you so much for liking this video thank you for subscribing and thank you for commenting down below i'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video and hope you have a lovely day blessings to all of you bye Namaste. Hello, group number three. Welcome to your reading. So you have picked the amazing The Knight of Cups card today as your reading card. So let's begin. We're going to draw a couple of more cards and then get straight into the messages that want to come through in regards to how do they feel? How do they truly feel about you? So let's see what else wants to show up for you. Group number three, please, Barrett. What else wants to 
show up. Okay, we have the Emperor, amazing. Okay, I also don't feel like drawing something else. Right, I saw the lovers. Um, just just thought it wanted to come up or wanted to come into the reading, but it doesn't. So we're going to see what else wants to show up here. We have the Seven of Swords showing up. What are they feeling? How do they feel for group number three right now? We have the Hermit. Okay, so, so there's like an interesting feeling here. Like they want to take action but they're at the same time like hermiting it out a little bit kind of waiting it out but at the same time there's this excitement right this excitement to start things this excitement to begin a journey with you this excitement to contact you um yeah let's see what else we have the four of wands amazing so cute on the bottom here, we have the Page of Swords. So we're just going to put this one here and we're going to remember this is the um, this is the bottom deck energy. I do want to just clarify the Knight of Cups. No, not the Knight of Cups. I want to clarify the Emperor and the Hermit. That's what I want to clarify. So clarifying the Emperor, please, for group number three. Okay, the Nine of Cups. And clarifying the Hermit, please, Spirit. Ooh, wonderful, okay. So the Nine of Swords. So this person is worrying. Um, that's why they're in Hermit mode, because of some anxiety, because of some worry. All right, team. So, all right, the Knight of Cups is your card. This is such a lovely card to receive. This feels like your person wants to take action towards you. They want a new romantic beginning, or they just want to get things started, get things moving between the two of you. The nights are overall just very, very um, like exciting and also like movement-oriented energies, action-oriented energies. So definitely your person here does want to like move things along. They want to shift, they want to move, they want to get things going. We do have a little like... Um, cocoon over here as well as you can see um it's reminding me of the hermit card so i am getting that this person is feeling a little bit of anxiety a little bit of worry here as well with the heart over here it just feels like the heart is in their throat so that's giving me again that feeling of okay they, they might be a little bit nervous about stepping forward they are considering it just with the way the cat is holding the cup over here. There's this feeling of considering what to do with their feelings, what to do with um, their expression and how to potentially take action towards you as well. So they're, uh, they're definitely like trying to figure things out here. Um, like how do they confess potentially or how do they like reach out to you? How do they establish contact with you again? This person definitely, definitely wants to establish contact with you. They want to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. They definitely are keeping a lot of things hidden with the Seven of Swords. This person has not really shared a lot about what is on their mind when it comes to you, when it comes to this connection. They've kept a lot of things to themselves. Um, they might have even deceived or they might have even kind of shrugged things off or they might not have responded to some of you in the past when it had to do with their own feelings. So this person could have ghosted some of you even when they felt like they needed to open up, you know, or when the time in the past was right for them to open up, they could have just ran, you know, so this person could be a runner, they could have been afraid in the past. I'm hearing no more of that bullshit here as I as I just jumped to the emperor. They're like, no more of this bullshit. I, I don't want to do this anymore. Like not to myself, not to my person. So they're they're really wanting to, you know, kind of level up is what I'm getting. They are afraid of what this leveling up is going to mean, though. Like like they want to move forward, definitely. They want a more like stable connection. With the Four of Wands, this person is feeling um, like they want to spend more time with you. They want to just interact with you more often. I'm hearing on a daily basis. They want to play. They want to interact. They want this relationship to 
move, you know, um, they, they wanted to kind of start developing. Um, yeah. So with the emperor and with the nine of cups clarifying the emperor, it feels like they want, they want their emotions to be more solid right now is what this feels like to me. The nine of cups is, is more of, of like, um, a self-oriented energy or a self-oriented card with the emperor um here it feels like this person just wants to take a more what i'm hearing is pragmatic approach with themselves right so it's almost like a part of themselves that is more solid that is more like a father figure to other parts of themselves is kind of mentoring let's say other parts of themselves um that are potentially more anxious or you know tend to worry a lot here um they're kind of just taking that and mentoring that and kind of just bringing themselves um to a unified whole right by by focusing on their emotions and how they are going to progress your connection in regards to that like how do they want to express their emotions to you in the future they're mentoring themselves let's say with that by reflecting by self-reflection um by just being more aware of their own feelings here as well by giving themselves more time and space to be able to like really tune into themselves as well so with the Nine of Cups, this person could be currently really like focused on themselves. They could have even told some of you that they are currently like focused on themselves a lot more. They're taking some time off even, you know, to just allow themselves some space to just, you know, tune in with themselves. Um, they want to be more relaxed <clears throat> when it comes to how they feel towards you. <clears throat> And also like more relaxed with their own expression, right? They don't want their romantic expressions towards you to be rushed or impulsive in any way. They want them to be stable. The emperor here is like that very strong energy of I need things to be stable. You know, I need to show up in a stable way for my person, in a firm way to my person. I need to be secure enough within myself to be able to hold myself through this romantic expression of my feelings. You know, when the time comes for me to more openly share my feelings with group number three, I need to be firm, secure enough within myself. That's this energy to be able to like share what's on my mind. And at the same time, you know, be ready for a potential rejection or be ready for whatever comes my way. So, so they're kind of preparing themselves. <clears throat> you guys, this feels a bit like this person is preparing themselves for battle. It's, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of cute. It's kind of silly, but also like fully understandable. It's like, yeah, I'm preparing myself for battle. Um, cause this is like a battlefield for them. It feels a little bit like a battle with themselves, but also like, you know, them doing this is, is like, resonating on the same level as someone going into battle you know your person would actually find it much easier to right now go into battle with someone than to share their romantic feelings just because it is making them that much more uncertain right it's that much more painful um to potentially deal with rejection than to just you know get smacked on the head with a sword you know so yeah <clears throat> they want they want success of course they want success like everyone wants to have a successful romantic relationship but yeah they, they're also trying to just be secure firm around all of this they know they need to tell you a lot of things so i feel like that's also why the insecurity is here because your person definitely feels like they need to share a lot of things with you and just feels like they are uncertain like what that is going to bring how are you going to take it you know, once they fully decide to share everything with you, you know, how, how are you going to receive that? Like, are you going to be pissed off at them? Are you going to be mad? Are you going to be understanding? So there are a lot of these uncertainties and um, ambiguities your person's really dealing with. That's why the Hermit and Nine of Swords are here as well. Um, 
because because there is like this ambiguity which is causing anxiety worry and um my heart is literally going out of my chest is what i'm hearing here so i feel like this person's also like having a lot of just bodily reactions when it comes to just thinking about you or even connecting to and the physical if you guys you know just see each other on a daily basis i feel like your person just tend to like get um get just a bit like yeah up in their head they, they might act a bit weird they might be awkward around you as well you know they might be shy um they they might be hot and then cold you know they, they could just be confusing because of this ambiguity because they themselves are not secure and firm within themselves but they're trying to get there right now so yeah with the hermit they're trying to find some type of clarity some type of guidance within themselves some type of understanding that they can rely upon within themselves so what else here they're taking time or making time for themselves right now overall just going inward for answers to be able to resolve this anxiety and this worry internally um they're seeking guidance within themselves and wanting to know like what is their truth here as well so they're kind of really searching within here which is wonderful because that's where the firm and secure standpoint or position is going to come from so yeah that's basically that here we have the four of wands of course so the four of wands indicates wanting a tangible union or the wish to have a tangible union with you um they want to be more loose with you is what i'm getting here as well like more playful more loose more relaxed um they want to live in the moment more they want to feel excited and they, they definitely feel like they want to at least on some level to the point that it is possible they want to be able to celebrate this connection or to recognize the gift that this connection is within their lives that's especially for those of you who resonate with this connection being on the level of a soulmate or twin flame or just a kindred soul you know someone who you really deeply resonate with and bond with they want to be able to celebrate this connection also regardless of the outcome that's again like a byproduct almost of this emperor here they want to celebrate it and honor it without necessarily expecting you guys to be together so it's that type of neutrality and a stand firm position your person wants from themselves or even what I'm hearing is expects of themselves with the Knight of Cups. They want, they want though to like open their hearts to you and be like, I love you and I want to be with you, you know. They feel passionate, um, open hearted. They feel like they want to open their heart to you, definitely. <clears throat> what else? They feel imaginative, yeah. And also sensitive. They feel sensitive towards themselves but also like sensitive towards you and what you would potentially want in this connection, right? So this person is really like wanting to have a dialogue with you as well in regards to what you want here, where you want to go, what you want to like manifest in this relationship. And they want to be able to like relax and enjoy their life with you or, you know, wherever their life goes. With this connection, they want to be able to honor this connection, recognize the gift that this connection has been for them. So overall, I feel like your person is, is feeling a great deal of mental clarity. With the Page of Swords on the bottom, there is like a beginning of mental clarity. Mental clarity is starting to come in at the very least with the Page of Swords. They are definitely wanting to re reveal the truth and be honest. It's what I'm getting here as well. Be honest. They want this connection to be purer. And they feel like they haven't shared everything that they needed, wanted to share with you. So they feel like they need to reveal more to you. There is a need here to be just, right? <sighs> okay, so yeah, there, there is... Um, a level of needing to speak the truth here that is triggering your person 
especially you know given that they have been let's say a bit deceitful in the past <clears throat> i'm just feeling my throat is kind of like ah you know because i'm picking up this energy of oh my gosh i need to share this and that's overwhelming as well i'm just really feeling in this cluster of the, this these three cards like oh my gosh you know i need to share things and it's like the inside of your person's chest is like feeling feeling bombarded almost you know just because they they haven't done this before especially with you and it, it just feels like there's a lot is at stake even though like when this person taps into it mentally it doesn't feel like there's a lot at stake but at the same time like emotionally it feels like everything is on the line and it's like this live or die situation for them so yeah there, there's like a lot of pressure here what else and they're curious about you they, they just want to communicate they just want to talk to you they, they feel like this pull to talk to connect they're trying to be still very mindful and you know take some time for themselves right now as well they don't want to be impulsive as i've said they want to be grounded balanced here so let's see what else so we have virgo aries energy gemini aquarius and libra here also pisces cancer scorpio showing up for you so let's get you some message cards and then also some other message cards as well i am grateful for you yeah that's something that they really really want to cultivate in this connection your person is incredibly grateful for you like no matter what this connection was or has been or even if you guys you know are in separation or you had a fight or a conflict or whatever it was this person is ultimately super grateful for you for who you are for like what you've given them for the insights that they've gotten through this connection through you even if you guys haven't communicated that much you know it's still it's incredible we have kiss me here so they really de deeply want to a makeup session here with you they want to kiss you um you could some of you could have had like um physical just instances where your person looked at your lips you know that was the indication that they wanted to kiss you you're missing from my life is showing up here as well so they do deeply miss you <clears throat> i trust in you so they do trust in you in this connection let's see what else is here i want to take care of you i'm also hearing i want to take good care of you let's see what else um so spirit saying okay so this spirit saying for me to stop is what i wanted to say i'm trying not to hurt us others so there could be other circumstances involved there could be some other people involved there could be some situations involved that are still in progress or you know trying to kind of come to a conclusion so your person is like trying not to reach out to you or tap into your energy or connect to you romantically before something else has really finished in their life at this time okay so let's see what else wants to show up so we're going to use this sack to get a couple of messages from them and you know just again a bit more clarity around this connection if anything like that wants to show up for us so let's just put in the intention together for group number three please spirit so what are group number three's person's feelings please let's see what wants to show up here what are their feelings okay amazing like let's see what wants to show up here okay so these and these two three okay so let's see what we have here so what are their messages what are the messages that want to show up right so we have i'm sorry i can't let this go there are some attachments that your person is still feeling deeply that's that's potentially this energy as well i'm trying not to hurt us others they are attached to something else in their life right now which is making it difficult for them to like start this connection but they do want to do it in a right way in a just way 
what else do we have? You gave my life new meaning. So you were definitely very meaningful. You still are incredibly meaningful to this person. We have divine. So yeah, they feel like this connection is a divine connection. So soulmate twin flame energy. That's again, that feeling of being incredibly grateful for you. We have, I know you know. <laughs> so they're like, yeah, I know you know. I know you already know. They know you are intuitive. They know you effing know everything that is to know about this connection, their feelings and all that. They know you already know. So they're like, oh my gosh, I just need to come out and say it because you already know it. So so they're like, I feel like that's that's like an issue for them as well because they know you know. And it's, it's just like, holy crap, I really need to come out and say it because it's just awkward that they know and I, I keep playing this game with myself. We have I'm your shadow. So this one's interesting. This one is calling for you guys to reflect in what ways is your person showing up as your shadow right now or um, the things that you have denied, disowned within yourself. The shadow here does not need to be a quote-unquote bad aspect of you. This could be a part of you that is successful, that you've denied, disowned within yourself, potentially, you know, or something that you really admire within your person, but you won't recognize within yourself. So this one is just calling you to recognize, like, in what way are you also in possession of qualities you deeply admire within your person? I'm your shadow. You are beautiful is your message here as well. So cute. And what else? We have no. So no is not the right time. Your person is saying no, not right now. Chill out. We need to, I, I need to still figure things out. There's some attachments that they have to some things. <coughs> Pardon me. So they're still attached to some things. Maybe within a relationship with someone, trying to end a relationship with someone. Maybe it's their job. Maybe it's something else. You know, they're still kind of attached to something. Maybe it's an idea. They're attached to it, what type of life they wanted to live. Maybe they're attached to that. You know, whatever it is, it is something that is upsetting your person though, right? So with a little like smiley face here, um, that they're kind of upset with it. They're kind of annoyed at themselves for still kind of harboring this attachment within themselves. And we have heat. So the heat is on. The heat is definitely on for them, for this connection. They feel the development of all of this very deeply and the heat is getting turned on for them here. So the pressure cooker is on. They're waiting for things to move. They're waiting for things to develop. They, they are themselves feeling a lot of heat here, a lot of passion for you still. For some of you, your person also wants to say that they kind of hoped that Time would heal them out of this or time would kind of settle their emotions for you or settle their passion, their desire for you, but it doesn't stop. So whenever you guys see each other or connect, even if it's like a miniature little connection where you just say hi to each other, you know, on the street or something like that, like, you know, they're just turned back up again. You know, it's like this deep, deep fire within them. There's a lot of Aries energy here, of course, with Aries being here, but there's also like a need to stabilize oneself, nourish oneself, and just have this firm organization of one's own life with the Virgo there. So it's interesting, but overall I'm feeling like strong Aries energy, maybe even moon in Aries or Venus Aries energy here for you guys in case that resonates it doesn't have to but it's just like the feeling the vibe of that is here that intense passion desire intensity you know when you feel such deep romantic attachments for someone it's definitely here and that's why it's also like feeling like soulmate twin flame energy to me because there's this hardcore passionate intensity here which is often coming hand in hand with those like very powerful connections that we have here on this earth plane as humans. So you guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in with me and for sharing your energy with me throughout this tarot reading today. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for tuning in. If any of you want to book a personal tarot reading, check out Etsy. The link is down below. 
If any of you want to tune into 18 plus tarot readings, check out Patreon and check out the Primordial Practitioner's Tier on Patreon for 18 plus erotic spicy tarot readings. For those of you wanting to maybe connect to me on a more personal level, if you want like personalized guidance throughout the month, you can check out the Patreon tier, The Badass Shaman. There, I literally just have like this opportunity to connect to me through WhatsApp on a daily basis um, throughout the month. You know, whatever you might need, I will respond with a voice message or a written message and you just get unlimited tarot readings throughout the month as well. So... Yeah, if you're interested, check that out. There are two tiers on Patreon. So the Primordial Practitioners for the tarot readings, the 18 plus tarot readings that are collective or general. And also there is the personalized connection through WhatsApp, the Badass Shaman tier. If you want to tune into that just to be able to like connect more deeply or to jumpstart your healing, your progression. So yeah. You guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. All my socials and everything else is linked in the description box below this video. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your donations. I deeply appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for commenting down below. I love hearing from you guys. You have all just such amazing journeys. So it's such an honor to connect to all of you. So all my love and blessings. I'll talk to you soon in the next video and hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Namaste.